So welcome back. In this video, we're going to see a demo uh, showing that a robotic system can leverage Pi Reason uh, to make decisions in the real world. So we're calling this our first sim to real demo using Pi Reason. And what we did was we crafted a policy, uh, handcrafted based on rules, that dictates that the robot takes certain actions and also within certain constraints. And so what you'll see in the video is synchronized activity of building a house structure using tiles and blocks of various shapes and colors. And so as we watch this progress, so we see step one here, it's starting to pick up the green tile and place it in the middle left slot. On the left-hand side, as you look at it, you see the output of Pi Reason executing on that policy. So this is the Pi Reason fixed point operator. It's combining the rules that act as constraints along with the other set of rules that we have that's acting as the policy here. And so what you're seeing on the left is essentially is the simulation. It's, it's being done in Pi Reason. Now note in this video that we pause the, pi, uh, the video of the Pi Reason fixed point operator at certain points in order to allow the robot to catch up. Uh, there are three red square blocks, two green square blocks, one blue rectangle tile, one green rectangle tile, two red rectangle blocks, and one green rectangle block. And so the goal is for the robotic arm to build a house structure such that there are three square blocks adjacent to one another at the bottom representing a floor and two rectangular tiles in the middle on each corner representing the pillars and two rectangular blocks adjacent to each other at the top representing the roof. Additionally, we put a constraint to build such a house that the green component cannot be adjacent to a blue component. So as we see this go through, you see that the uh, textual output of Pyres and the saying what's going on at a given step. And we see the behavior mimicked in the robotic system. So what do we learn from this demo is that we have now shown that it is possible to provide robotic instructions in the same logical language as Pyreason and we can uh, replicate the same environment on both sides. And so where we're going with this is we're starting work on actually training policies using reinforcement learning and also looking at how to bridge the sim to real gap um, by comparing what the robot observes with what was expected to be observed based on Pi Reason. And the key advantage here is that because of the symbolic representation afforded by Pi Reason, you can do this comparison with the results of a real world simulation much easier. So I hope you enjoyed the video and please stay tuned for more content.